Good morning, friends. It is Tuesday and it is May 19th. And today we're going to do a sensory fine motor task that involves pudding. The reason I'm doing pudding now, I haven't done this one, even though it's a lot of fun, um, is because it's something that I know a lot of the kids will eat. And this, you don't even have to eat it if they don't like it. Um, it can be done mainly with the hands. So I'm going to show you how it goes. So first of all, you have Jello, and you're going to make it to whatever the package directions say. Here it tells me to put two cups milk in it. And instead of doing it in a bowl, we're going to do it in a Ziploc bag. So let me show you. So first we're gonna open. Let your kids open their jello box. Let them do it themselves. Let them figure it out. Sometimes you have to pull extra hard. There we go. And then you take out your jello package. Okay, once the jello package is open, you can either teach them to rip. When we rip, we do one finger here or one finger here and pull. Now, you don't want them to pull too hard because pudding will go everywhere. And we really don't want pudding to go everywhere. So we want to pull gently and maybe even show them how to only take off a little bit. I took off more than a little bit, but that's okay. If your child can use scissors, you can also use scissors here. The next thing you have to do is get your Ziploc bag. So carefully take this from your child and stand it up somewhere. Oops, mine didn't stand up. And open your Ziploc bag. Pull! Oh, you gotta hold here, hold here, and pull! Oh, awesome. Make sure that, that, that it's one that seals nicely. The next thing you wanna do is put your milk, is put your, your, putting it. Put it over. You may want to hold one thing, have your child hold the other, and try to wiggle it. Make sure they get all the pieces of pudding out in there. Excellent. So then you have pudding, your pudding mix in here. Then the next thing you need is two cups milk. Pouring milk out of a big milk jug is awfully difficult for the kids, but if it's almost empty or you have a smaller jug, you might be able to do that that way. So you're going to want to definitely be holding this bag while your child pours. So you may even want to have extra hands in the classroom. So you pour the milk in with the pudding. Excellent. And then this part, you'll want to make sure you ask your child to seal the bag. When we seal a bag, you're going to hold one side like this. You push till you feel it clamp on those Ziplocs, and then you pull across. <clears throat> now, everybody's mom and dad have to check it at this point to make sure it's sealed. I did kind of miss a step, and my son would be mad at me because he goes, you always miss that step. But anyhow, we need to let some air out. So mom and dads, make sure all the air is out of the bag. So you're gonna have to crack it open again and then push all the air out till it's like flat. And then you reseal it. So that way there's not much air left in the bag. Then what your child needs to do is mush it. Mush it, mush it, mush it. You notice I'm doing this in my kitchen, over my counter, where things aren't going to get messy. And they're going to get all okay. Everything's, nothing's going to get too destroyed. Because if it does leak, that sometimes happens. You also want to make sure you um, have it nice and sealed. If your kids... Um, you think your kids might pop it, you might want to double seal it, put it in a second bag, and mush it all around.
until it's all mixed. You should, you could have them do this. Just doing this is really good for their grasp strength. It's really good for their sensory skills, being able to touch different things. They're also maybe exploring a texture they don't necessarily like in a safe way by using the bag in between. Now, once you have pudding, which takes a few minutes to mix, um, you would have a couple different options of what you could do with it. Of course, you could eat it. You could eat it in a bowl with a spoon, which is one way to eat pudding, which is the way we usually eat pudding, right? There's another way, which I'm not going to do right now because you, you can, um, you, uh, because my pudding is just mixed. It's not good, to, but you could put a little hole in the bag and you could stick your straw in and then try to suck it out. Only do that if your kid can suck out of a straw. Um, and you want to make sure you're in a safe place where it's not going to get all over the place. Um, you may want to put individual amounts in the bag before you do that, too, because this is two cups of pudding, which is four servings, which would be a lot of pudding for your child to eat. The other thing is using the pudding as a sensory um, way to practice different things. So I could, in this bag, practice writing the letter A. A. Or we could practice shapes. The pudding, the pudding is in the Ziploc bag, so I'm going to make it a square. So I practice my shapes. Maybe we fold it up and make it a triangle, and we practice making the triangle. If your child is adventurous with pudding, they can take this pudding, and they could put it on a cookie sheet. A cookie sheet. You put it on a cookie sheet so you don't make too much of a mess. You pour it on the cookie sheet open. You open it up and you pour it on the cookie sheet. And then you can actually just paint with it. You could put it on paper. You could paint with paper. I'm not sure vanilla would look great on paper. I'm just using what I have around the house. But be adventurous with your pudding and have some fun. If you don't have pudding today, I completely understand. I'm kind of running out of ideas for things to have that you would have around the house. So I may be coming up with a list of different craft items to try to get over the next couple weeks so that we can start doing some more organized kind of crafts like I would do at school. Um, any, um, I would love to see what your ideas are. If you make, decided to mix something else than pudding in, in a bag and show me that, you can also do that. Maybe you have some leftover rice. If you had some leftover rice after eating, you put that in there with some other things like beans and stuff and then have them mush it around in here. But Ziploc bags are a great way to explore tactile sensory input that you might find, their child might find offensive in a safe way. So try it out. Thanks, bye.